हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स आई हैव सीन हंड्रेड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु स्ट्रगल इन द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड दैट्स व्हाट क्रिएट्स प्रॉब्लम्स व्हेन दे आर डूइंग हायर लेवल कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑब्वियसली व्हेन द बेस इज नॉट स्ट्रांग देन यू कांट बिल्ड अप ऑन इट एंड देयर फॉर आई ऑलवेज रिकमेंड दैट यू शुड हैव वेरी वेरी स्ट्रांग बेसिक्स एंड दैट्स व्हाई वी हैव ब्रॉट आउट दिस special ebook of short tricks you can see the details and let me know if you require it okay now we are going to talk about finding the highest common factor now now simplification is what we do and you know we just want everybody to think about numbers positively and think about numbers in a different manner traditional methods obviously yes you should know the logic why a particular thing happens but the traditional methods cannot work in the competitive exams where you have to solve like 100 questions in maybe 120 minutes how do you do traditional methods there and so you need to be smart with your methods hcf and lcm is a very important topic and if you are able to find some of the uh, you know hcf and lcm problems mentally yes mentally things will be so simple for you and your confidence level will be at a different level Okay, so I am going to take up learning the art of finding the HCF mentally. Watch the entire video, and if you have not subscribed the channel till now, please subscribe it. It it takes nothing to subscribe a channel, right? But if you like it, please subscribe it, and don't forget to click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting all the notifications of useful uploads on this channel, right, friends? So let's get going and learn something very useful. the first thing i'm going to tell you is the art you know what is the base of that particular art i'll take a very easy example of 20 and 26 we all know the answer already right but i would like to get rid of the traditional method now where the students are taught the prime factorization method you make the factors of 20 prime factors of 20 so 2 times 2 times 5 and you make the prime factors of 26 you make like 2 times 13 and then find out whichever are the common factors and multiply them to get the highest common factor that's what you do right prime factorization method so i don't want to uh, use that method i want to get into a short trick i want to get into something which will be easier for you to handle for all the students to handle watch there is a concept of finding the lcm that highest common factor is always a factor of the difference of the numbers so if you find the difference of the numbers that means 26 and 20 you are going to find that the number is difference is 6 right and your hcf will always be a factor of this number 6 now let's see how do you break 6 6 is 2 times 3 right now i will do some elimination and retention of these factors okay if i see this 3 it doesn't divide 26 right so even if one of the numbers is not divisible by one of the factors that factor will not be considered to find the highest common factor because it, it cannot be a factor so what where is the question of being hcf highest common factor it is not at all a factor itself so Three is eliminated because it doesn't divide both of them. Even if it doesn't divide one of the numbers, it divides the other. You have to eliminate it. If it has to be retained, it has to divide all the numbers here. Now see two. Two divides twenty and two divides twenty-six, and there is only one factor which will be a part of the HCF, and so the HCF is two. See, it is not at all difficult. Just about you know thinking about the numbers correctly. I'll take one more example. Let's take fifty and say ninety-five. Now look at the difference. I'll write D for difference, okay? So ninety-five minus fifty. You don't have to do that in writing. I'm just writing all the steps to demonstrate it. Now this is forty-five, right? Now what are the factors of forty-five? Forty-five is three times fifteen, so three times five. Three, three, five. Now why do I eliminate this three? Because it doesn't divide fifty, I don't have to even check ninety-five. If it doesn't divide fifty, gone. Another three doesn't divide fifty, gone. So I just have to check five. 
5 divides 50 obviously 5 divides 95 obviously and so 5 is a part of the HCF and so the HCF is 5. See where are the factors? Why should I spend time in making factors of 50 and 95? I don't want that okay. Right. Let's see. Uh, let's complicate the problem. 72 and 132. How about doing this? 72 and 132. So what is the difference? The difference is uh, 132 minus 72 that is 60 right and the factors of 60 are 2 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 and 5. So 2, 2, 3 and 5. Now I have to check and then I have to find the HCF. Um, 5. I will start with the largest factor. 5 does not divide both of them. So go on. Um, how about 3? Oh yeah, 3 divides 72 and 3 divides 3 plus 1 plus 2 is 6. So yes, it divides. So 3 is a part of the HCF. But after dividing these two numbers by 3, what do I get? This divided by 3 fetches me what? 24. And this divided by 3 gets me 3, 4s are 12, 4s are 12, right? Correct? Oh, it's moving, right? Let's erase this and put it here. Yeah. So once I took 3 as a part of my answer, I divided these two numbers by 3 and got 24 and 44. Now I have to check the, so this is retained. Now I have to check this 2. Oh, both are even. So another 2 in the HCF. And this will give me 12 and 22. Now 12 and 22 are divisible by the last factor here too. So that 2 also forms a part of the answer. And so my answer is 3 times 2, 6 times 2, 12. The answer for the question is 12. Now situation is getting a little complicated. Why? Because we are having many factors which are forming a part of the HCF. And that is why, right? But we will learn this skill. I told you in the beginning, nothing comes without practice in mathematics. So if you practice a little bit, these things are not at all going to be complicated. Okay, friends. Let's see another example. Now I am going to test myself and take three numbers. 26, 169 and 208. 26, 169, 208. Now we were talking about what? The difference, right? I took the difference. Oh, I have three numbers here. What to do with the difference now? <laughs> so this time, in place of D, D stand, uh, standing for difference, I will take MD. What is MD? MD is the minimum difference. Okay. So I will pick up any two numbers and check the difference between them. It should be the minimum difference between two numbers. Uh, these two will give me something like, uh, I don't know, maybe 120s. Okay. Uh, these two, yes, they are very close enough, 31 and a 39, right? And obviously, the largest and the smallest is not going to give me a minimum difference. So, minimum difference between these two, correct? That's easy. That's just observation. So, minimum difference is 208 minus 169. That is 39, right? Now, my HCF is a factor of this minimum difference. And so I have to check with 39 now. And what is 39? 39 is 3 times 13. Prime factors. Now let's check 3. Oh, 26, 2 plus 6, 8. Not at all. 3 doesn't divide 26. So cancelled. Now I just have to check 13. 13, 2 times is 26. 13, 13 times. 13 square is 169, right? Uh, 13, uh, 1s are 13. And 78, 13, 6, that's it. Oh my God, yes, it is divisible by 13. All three numbers are divisible by 13. And so there is only one factor which will form the part of HCF. And my answer is 13. Most of it is mental maths, friends. Please be careful. These are not to be written, okay? Practice, practice and practice. 50 questions, 60 questions, 100 questions. After that, you won't require a pen and paper. Okay, let's see two more questions and then we'll conclude. I'll complicate the problem for myself now. I'm taking 126 as the first number, 450 as the second number, 486 as the third number. Now, where is the minimum difference? So, I need to find a minimum difference, okay? Between the first and second, the difference is like 300 something. Here, yeah, very less. And the highest and the smallest, that will be the farthest 
okay so then that is not going to give me minimum difference so the minimum difference normally comes here so what is md here md is 486 minus 450 and that is 36 and what are the factors of 36 2 times 18 2 times 9 so 3 and 3 these are the factors now i have to check one by one okay this 2 Will it be a part of HCF or uh, or not? Since all these are what even numbers, so two yes, they it will divide all three. But when I divide these, I will get here I get sixty three right. So I'll write sixty three here, and uh, then two twenty five here. That is easy. And divide by two, I get two forty three here. Now let's check with the other two. All odd numbers, the two is not going to divide any of them. So Let's check with three. Six plus three nine. Five plus two plus two nine. Four three and two nine. Oh yes, three divides all three, so the three comes here, right? And when I divide these numbers by three, I get twenty one. I get seventy five, and I get eighty one. And the last three, divisible, divisible, divisible. So this also retained. And so obviously I don't have to write these quotients now because there are no more factors and the answer is nine two zero eighteen. That gives me my answer for the HCF. See slowly, you know, you 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 may have three numbers, four numbers, five numbers. You just have to find the minimum difference. Okay, let's see one more question. One hundred and fifty three, five sixty one, and six hundred and sixty three. Now I want to check the minimum difference first, and then we will go across. So here, four hundred something. Here we have hundred something. Here five hundred something. So minimum difference is six six three minus five six one. And how much is that? Sixty three minus sixty one is zero two, and six minus five is one hundred and two. Uh, when I break hundred and two into its factors, it is two times fifty one. Fifty one is three times seventy. Yeah, got my prime factors. Now start. Will two be retained? Odd numbers. Come on, not divisible by two. So two eliminated. Let's check three. Five plus one, six plus three, nine divisible. Six plus eleven, twelve divisible. Twelve, fifteen divisible. So all three are divisible by three. So when I write the HCF, I will have a three. If I divide them by three, I get fifty-one. Divided by three, I get one eighty-seven. If I'm not wrong, yes. And divide this by three, you get two two one. Correct. Now I I need to check seventeen. Seventeen threes are fifty-one. Seventeen ones are seventeen. Seventeen ones are seventeen. Seventeen ones are seventeen. Fifty-one seventeen threes. Oh, seventeen also divides all three of them. So times seventeen, and that's it. No more factors are here. So my answer is fifty-one. The highest common factor of these huge numbers is. 51 now this is how you need to work on finding the hcf now this is something which you know requires a little bit of practice and you if you learn this art of finding the hcf mentally then so many problems of rational numbers you know taking the lcm is everywhere so lcm is going to be our subsequent topics which i'm going to simplify for you till then learn this art of finding hcf do share this video with all your friends who are struggling in such concepts and i'm sure it is going to benefit each and every student thanks for watching this video friends and all the best